1894, a young woman by the name of Anne Londonderry began her journey to become the first woman to ride around the world on a bicycle. I'm Blair Miles Stravich here at Prairie Theatre Exchange, and I'm talking about the new show, Spin, that's running from now until January 31st. I'm joined by creator and performer, Evelyn Perry. Evelyn, tell me why this was such an important piece for you. There's a bunch of reasons. I guess first and foremost, it's a very personal piece in terms of my relationship with my own bicycle and how much I love to ride. And I thought the bicycle would be a really interesting subject because of all its metaphors uh, to investigate as a writer. And I also had heard that there was a connection between the early women's emancipation movement of the 19th century and the bike, but I didn't know anything about that. And I thought that sounded like an interesting research project. And sure enough, as soon as I began to research, it opened up just a, a literal treasure trove of stories about women who were riding in the 1890s around the time that women were starting to organize about the vote and it just it, it was kind of amazing to me how resonant these stories from 120 years ago felt still today but the story that i stumbled across of annie londonderry who's the first woman to ride around the world in 1895 it just blew my mind. I had never heard of her, and I wondered why, first of all, why have I never heard of her? And second of all, like, how is it even possible that she did this thing? And uh, the story was so much fun to explore. She was settling a bet between two businessmen, $20,000 to 10, that no woman could beat the record of the only man, one Thomas Stevens, to have cycled around the world some 10 years. There's songs in the piece, short songs, there's long songs, there's extended sort of monologues and to me the image that I always had when I was making it was a wheel that has all these spokes that come together to make something whole. You know you share the stage with some very talented musicians of course but Brad Hart is playing a bicycle. Now that seems like something I never would have thought of in a million years but it's incredible. How would you describe that? It was a discovery you know that began uh, when I started writing the piece, Brad played drums in my band and I approached him and said, you know, I'm, I'm writing this piece about bikes and what do you think about trying to use a bike as a percussion instrument? And we experimented a little with it and once we put contact microphones on the bike, that was when the breakthrough occurred that we realized, oh, this actually has such interesting sonic potential kind of functions in a way as a drum kit, an avant-garde drum kit. I was writing the songs at the same time as he was discovering this new instrument. So the, the whole arrangement for the piece really came together. The bike was informing the songs I was writing and vice versa. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Spin is running from now until January 31st. Would you take a dare? Would you take a wager? Or would you wear? Would you wear blue notes? Would you care to change things? Would you dare to change things? Would you be laughed at? Shrug off the laugh time? Would you ride your bike to the desert without?